Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52, first round match between Andri and his really amazing Chaos team and Mordred and his really not amazing Wood Elf team, but it's an interesting stylistic matchup and in the booth with me is Squirrel Dude, hello! Howdy, it's not a well developed across the board Wood Elf team, but they do have some stat freaks, so they're always going to have a chance and be really annoying. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Like strength, like this dancer is unreal, can win the game on his own. These two are good, <laughs> but they're not. <laughs> like that's it. They're, they're still linemen, right? They're just good. But yeah, yeah. Th this dancer is incredible. Um, he's got a wizard and a babe, so he's actually not even down that too much TV. Only eleven players, um, and then yeah, the chaos is amazing. Like yeah, solid, solid block guarders. Two solid warriors, like really, really nice solid. Team. This is actually like about almost as good a chaos team as you can make, right? Because it's not even that much TV. I would definitely want tackle on this guy, right? Ten, ten, ten more for tackle there. He's it's away. a That's it's a very enough. trim, high TV chaos team. Yeah, it's very trim. Yeah, it's really nice. And then tackle on him. So yeah, these two tackle would be the biggest impact you could make. Yeah, um, but really, really good. It's tackler two heads on the agility, like the. Carrier basically has the exact four things you want. The killers have the almost exactly the four or five things you want, except for the one tackle you're missing. There is an exactly wrestle tackle goat with nothing more. The very player only has wrestle, nothing else. The exact block guard warriors. It's it's really incredible. Yeah. How yeah. the lack of blood on this team. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, like obviously you could make this guy legend, right? Give him two heads and tackle. Yes. But um, but like for this matchup. The, the tackle is, is a big miss for, for 20 TV, but like overall you'd probably still take two heads on first anyway. Um, it is so pro... We were saying slightly before the game, it is unfortunate, as you were saying, that these Chaos don't have quite enough tackle, but also for the Wells, the Strength 4 is probably... This is probably the matchup where the Strength 4 is the least advantageous because horns. Mm. It's, not, it's not really protecting you from giving up one dice blocks. Or two dice, really. It's still just two assists for basically everyone, or one assist for everyone on the Chaos team, compared to most teams where it's a real pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah. And they are rowdy, so you don't. Like, I guess, I guess there's a lack of tackle, so it's good. That you, oh, here we go. He's finally gone forward. Yeah. <laughs> Did you three straight? Yeah, that's what someone said. The, the strength of players ate the tree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, the uh, also don't have any, like, agility. Star, so they can't really just force their way through when they get down players to the same way they usually can. It's one more dance for the second one. Has, is that Juggernaut? Strip ball? Yeah, interesting. Sure. Not. not what I would have done, but who can save? It's good about <laughs> Basically worthless this game because it's gonna the ball's going to be in the hands of the Shuringham's guy and you're not going to get surf opportunities, so... Yeah, very, very unlikely that it's 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 unlikely, right? But the thing is, if if you like, if you come in with a strength four first, mm. and then like the 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 drive goes to shit, then then like you know maybe there'll be a secondary thing. And but yeah, obviously very unlikely for it to be relevant. Of course, uh, there it is overstated how much you know strip ball is negated by sure hands because it, all it means is yes, now you absolutely have to put ball on your sure hands guy. No one else can do anything with it. That's still. Value is just not the same value of I can get the ball whenever I want. Mm -hmm. and, That's a reroll. And yeah, in our in the the DACA is 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 you know it's obviously grown a lot right from from just like it being a unbelievably niche thing. Like I think it's a I think it's a valid strat. Do I think it's the best thing ever that should be used every time? No, I think people who say that's stupid. But also, I think people who like hate on it ridiculously are also stupid. <laughs> I think it has a lot of value in. Chalice, once you know the number of games you're playing, because you really do want to keep your team healthy for the next period. It's not like you can just play more games until they get injured. Mm. So, and, there, and you're also you're playing for the result, not for points. Like mm. you don't care if you really you don't care if you win. And obviously in CCL, like five one, that's a much better result for SVP. And this is like I mean the SVP kind of matters, but your team's usually much more involved, so you're just getting less out of it than you normally would. Yep. So. You just want the result. You're likely going to go for overtime, so protecting yourself from injury is all has much more value. 
Yeah, that's really the good. thing. Uh, you know, people saying it's risky because you, if you lose the ball, it's nearer your end zone. It's like, yeah, but you know, doing a normal drive is riskier because you're taking more hits. So it's it's six and two threes. It's not like there's no this is right or this is wrong. You know, that's pretty idiotic. It's just something that you've got to think about and weigh up if you think it's worth it and stuff. It's an interesting. It's like two teams create defensive formations. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's brilliant. El Leolas and Chaos forming <laughs> columns in front of them. <laughs> I mean, I kind, of, I kind of love the decker, you know. I, I, I really do like it. I think it's, I think it's great that a new way to play was found. Like, even if the guy who found it is almost universally <laughs> despised on Fumble, um, <laughs> according to some people who play on Fumble, uh, he's not the most popular chap in the world. But, you know, I think it is amazing there's, like, something new out there, like, after all these years. That's pretty crazy, isn't it? So, I like that aspect of the DACA. Um, oh, wow. I would agree it can be not that entertaining to watch. It just a, it, or at least it makes the game feel less dynamic, though I think maybe it does more to reveal the way the incentives of how Blood Bowl works actually make give you a very not dynamic game if mm. played. And it really reveals more about an issue with game design than it does anything with strategy. If, this, if the strategy is so effective that really is an issue with the game's design more than anything. Mm. That forward advancement of the ball is just not a priority. Scoring isn't actually a goal. And, you know, th mm. the very last moment there's no real pressure to score besides the off, yeah, all those kind of structural issues. I think the game does have. Yeah, but I mean, he hasn't broken through, has he? That's the thing. It's like correct. It's it's uh, it's not going great, no. <laughs> no, this this it's turn six, and they were still deep in their half. Like I don't, I get it, you're wood elves, but there are there's a good chance that chaos could do. Nothing, and you still don't score. Yep. It's worked well in one regard, though. It has worked well yeah. in one regard. Um, mm -hmm. But, yeah. And if you are the Chaos, I mean, you're like, all right, it's 0-0 zero, zero heading to the half, and now I'm playing in cells with a wizard who can just score and go up 1-0 and then play defense, and the game still wins. So. Yeah. Yeah, this is the thing. This, this is like why, like... The turtle, the first half turtle, isn't even that bad because obviously, if if the Wood Elves went into the second half one nil up, this would be fine, right? Mm -hmm. It's just that they don't know they're one up right now. But if they do go one up, then this was a completely fine drive and it was a success, even though it doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, are we going to give it this catcher and potato? I guess. It's Maybe he's got a bit of a screen. It, you can yeah, do it. A screen, bit of a screen. Yeah, this could still be a tutty. Mhm. Mm Nice KO. Mm. Classic, classic war dancer KO. Probably did, was there was did he have another GFI to go? It might have tagged him if I could. Mm. Yep, I think he can do a pretty good job of screening on the tackles, who were maybe a bit too central for the time, like yep. recognizing time and like the, they what else had to get back. So having. A tackle back probably would have been good. It's pretty easy to screen them off now, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. I might have gone one further up here. I don't know, though. I would have to count the squares. Ugh. Maybe you're going to make the dodges harder on the Apache 4 guy. Mm. So it's harder for him to get 2 or 3D. Okay, saving it for the loader. Glorious. Yep, so there you go. It looks like it looks it looks all right now, doesn't it? <laughs> it went from not looking so good to whoops, you've you've made a bit of a mistake and you fucked. Glorious. Very classic Daco. Everything's going wrong, and actually, it's it's going to be touchdown in a turn. It's mm -hmm. fine. I don't really like the chaos aren't doing anything to stop this touchdown, so mm -hmm. it's like they're just getting a 3D on the dancer. Ah, uh, okay, we're gonna do a last turn. God, it's the pow. Wow! Now all of a sudden it doesn't look a good Daka. Okay, no. Daka reverts to being shit and wrong. <laughs> Daka's really bad. You gave up a, like a, a three plus two plus two DB against your blodger, Yeah. Yeah. There's no Daka. secondary scoring threat to be fair. Not any yes. secondary scoring threat. Is Pretty bad. Yep. And you let the chaos roll dice to get a, pl a player on the ball. That's really bad. 
Can't let the chaos roll dice. No. <laughs> but yeah, you know, I've, I've been preemptively saying that in case it picked up the ball, but uh, yeah. fine. It's funny though, because if this guy, you know, if if things had been gone around a little bit better, he could have had a catcher here, couldn't he? And he could have been in range mm -hmm. to score still, like even even with the positioning, which did look awful for like most of the drive, like not even making an effort. I think you've got to yeah. make more of an effort before before when he did, but he left at the last second, nearly paid off. And he just kills the scoring threat, so we're going to go into the half nil nil, and what else? Mostly healthy. Yeah, like that's the thing, right? Like this is a this is a good part of the deck. It took basically no damage. Whereas mm -hmm. if this had been a normal drive, might have taken some attrition, you know, been forced in turn four, and then the chaos scored in on in five turns and did more damage. Like it's possibility. So it's just like you can't. It's really hard to quantify what's more risky or what you know what that how to assign the pros and cons. It's difficult. It is very tricky. Yeah, got to reroll that obviously. Must. There's no touchdown on, and who cares about an SPP? You've got to try and nail, nail the dance. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really like going for the foul with your guard guy. No, I hate this. Bears, I but... hate this. Yeah. Like, I just hate it personally, but, like, at the end of the day, I guess. He was dirty player, it's understandable, but, yeah. yeah. It's not a dirty player. It's a, but it's a hell of a player, isn't it? The dancer, so. Yeah. So, yeah. even though I hate it, I might have done it as well. <laughs> Because it's like it's just that that player is the whole game, isn't it? Like that player is the whole game. So if you can take him out, how do you lose even with a wizard? Pretty much. So yeah, probably, probably I would have probably hated it, but probably still done it as well. Yeah, yeah power drive is nothing like piling on, and it's terrible. Yep. What are you talking about? Pile driver is just as good. People will be taking death rollers. They're basically overpowered now because I saw this one skill that means that they do something. It's going to be too good. Yeah. In incorrect. <laughs> but it might be. It might be. It might like that. Might be honestly pile like pile driving. You know, no one's going to enjoy playing a pile driving bloody. Uh... Uh, what's it called? Death roll, are they? Let's be honest. Like, do you know what I mean? No one's gonna fucking enjoy that game <laughs> taking those hits. Mm -hmm. So, it will. You know, people will have subjective experiences that make them think it's overpowered and stuff. But I guess they'll do that with everything because everyone can roll dice whatever team they make. I mean, I'm not sure people will actually enjoy playing as power drivers, like or not power drivers, uh, death rollers. Right now, generally, they're not a very interactive piece. No, it is indeed. this big thing you can't move and just hurts your team and then leaves. <laughs> yeah. And it's, a, and it's surrounded by a bunch of dwarves who can't move and they just hurt your team and don't do anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah pile, pile driver, it, it can get you sent off, yeah. As it goes. It's, and it uses DP rather than my blow and stuff. It's, it's really, it is really bad apart from death rollers because they've got DP plus two. Which is pretty okay. <laughs> But even then, it's probably still not worth the skill. I guess you could take random strengths on a on a death roll. Take random strengths on a death roll because it's already got so many skills already. It can probably only get like guard and uh, <laughs> multiple block and and pile driver, right? It can't get many skills. Thick skill. No. Bro. Not, not a lot of skills it can get. Do you take double at some point? Maybe. I'm not sorry, not doubles, secondaries, whatever. Does it have thick skull now, does it? Did it get buffed? Grab, yeah, Grab, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Juggernaut, no, it's already got juggernaut. Grab. Break tackle, which is garbage now. It's so bad. Yeah, yeah, BT's a bad one, yeah. That's a real shame that, um, break tackle, but they're even less dynamic now. That was like one of the fun things about Death Roll, was that they could just break tackle into anything. That was actually what made them kind of, in actually kind of interesting, and not just a hurdy piece. Yeah. So they actually did give you a different tool on defense. Yep. I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it didn't have thick skull. I'm pretty yeah, sure it didn't it have thick skull. L's gonna get to put pressure on here. Yep. Hmm. Why not? When you've got all these strength four players, he's like there's a gaping hole in, in between the lines. Mm -hmm. Might have even blitzed this guy, honestly. Like rather than that, like I know they get this gets the dance around here and stuff, but like this would have flooded loads of players in this area, which seems really strong. But um, 
Yeah, because this is just. It does feel like there's a. Yeah, it's just kind of there. They're just going to run to the left of it and form a cage and be fine. Yeah, yeah. Like you're just getting your dancer palm, claw palmed, and then mm -hmm. there's the caging up. <laughs> Whereas they this, to, this way you'd yeah. be exposing bad players. They maybe need to base a bit more with. Okay, that helps the dance. That protects the dancer, I suppose. Oh, yeah, now oh. just totally, yeah. Yeah, that's really, that was a really nice last turn move. Yeah. Maybe you need to base up a couple of the warriors and give up some hits if you're going to go in for it this hard, but maybe it's too early for that. Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah, I wouldn't have minded tagging these two. Um, yeah. At least. But I can also see the argument for not doing it, because all you're doing is just giving up two hits there, and the cage is going there regardless, so there's not a huge point. Yeah. Yeah, I think I would have wanted to have blitz this guy and get all the crap players here, and then, like you know through there, and then like the good players off the side. But I mean, I don't mm -hmm. think it makes a lot of difference. But obviously now the wizard can be totally devastating next turn, which is uh, yeah, which is very nice, really nice. Doing a pretty good job here of kind of trying to screen out these elves that are good on the right side. Yeah, so that they can't get there in the cage at least. Yeah, yeah, pretty and good, pretty good turn, in. pretty good turn yeah. from Andrew here, pretty good turn. But the bolt comes in anyway. Yep. Interesting. Just right. do a 3 plus 3 plus. 3 plus 2. Yeah, just do two dodges. Yeah, 3 2. How the guy. Don't Get follow. Ball. And someone else is going to just dodge through all the side and pass it to somebody, are they? <laughs> uh, probably. I guess they can just pass it upfield. Yeah, this uh, guy was yeah. free. This guy was free. Lovely. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Elves. Rip chaos. Oh, beautiful dodges through. And the last one here. And you are uh, done. That's not going to punch, is he? Again, you like this. This is almost certainly wrong, right? Because that's still a weak diagonal. It's de it's got to be better. Ah, so, go yeah. oh, but okay, he's gonna move that one to there as so. well. Mm. Probably six and two threes. Disgusting images. I guess this makes it so you have to um, really blitz through the strength four guy to clear a way up the top. You can't just use the left. You could just you could do it with the. Um, you could still blitz push. this guy, can't you? But I guess if he's one to the right, a push on that guy does enough to clear the space. Yeah, yeah, you just gotta push him that way. Yeah. Six and but two, three, push... really. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. At the end of the day, who knows which is better, because you either make the weak diagonal there or the weak diagonal there. I would have probably just put him there just to make sure that I had, you know, had more coverage, yeah. and, rather than assuming I would make it. Does, like, it doesn't super matter, because now it's just for stopping a stall anyway, I, which is why moving the Chaos Warrior back is weird. Mm. Thank you, Verlamir. So yeah, no, no thick skull. Yeah, I didn't think I was. I mean, I was pretty sure it didn't have thick skull. I was pretty sure it didn't, but you know, never. You can never be too careful. I didn't know a, a million percent. Pile on. Yep. Pile on. Pile on. Just a removal. Got to hit the best player on the team, but didn't do anything and didn't get any pressure on the stall, which is just terrible, isn't it? Not getting any pressure on the stall because. Especially with the KO. Great. Mm. You KO, you could, yeah, KOs are great right now. I mean, they're not ideal, but they're not injuries. After they come back and they're protected from getting injured, if they do come back, so the more you can stall. Yeah. It's, it's funny because I'd, be, I'd want to come back here. Like, obviously, going mm -hmm. here is good because you're just right near the end zone, so you just bang it in any time you want, and you can get these guys back down. But I would have been tempted to go back here, but yeah, I understand not wanting yeah. to, because then if they swing around in front, you can get into trouble and just not score again. So, so this is probably not oh maximizing God. the overall stalling potential. Mm -hmm. Almost certainly not maximizing overall stalling potential, but on the other hand, maximizing the chances of actually scoring at all, which, you know, with four turns max for Andre, a score has got a very good chance of being enough. Also, glorious random cast there. Amazing. Good Apo use so far this game, and we, we know it's good because it's worked. And the play, more players haven't been injured, so yep. how we're going to evaluate it. That's all we can do. Yep. And look, the, the Daka the is saving the Woody's here, isn't it? They've taken no damage. Like, an 11-man Woody team is basically taking no damage. 
So. Wow, and now they've done a real good job of getting a big a big net of players here, so really nice. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to even pressure the screen yeah. that will be in front of the ball, <laughs> let alone get near the ball. Yeah. So, yeah, there are three players that are completely screened off, so no matter what happens, he should be able to basically form a cage here this next turn. Yeah. And get one more stall. Or probably looking at two or three here pretty easily. Yeah. Right? It's, yeah, it's going to be the cage is going to move back and then we'll be rolling twos. Yeah. Found the one way in to base the guy. And that that claw pommer should be getting hit next turn. Yep. Should be getting blitz to make it safe to run back. Probably by WrestleMan. Yep, so, I mean, it's adding some twos, to be fair, isn't it? Like, you know, mm -hmm. it's... Because you probably want to dodge this. Maybe you don't dodge him off. Maybe you just blitz and then don't dodge him off and then make a screen with these other two and then dodge everyone off and then you're not just losing on 1 in 36. So yeah, probably he safe. just blitzes. Oh, he could run all the way around, actually. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He could have done that. Oh, okay, he's to come there. Okay, does it so that he gets the loner to not have to do the dodge and he gets dodge rerolls on everything else? Fair yeah. enough. It, um, loners are a bit less good because they get knocked down more often when they do get hit, but it means that you just have more players are going to be in this cage for free. Yeah, yeah, more, yeah, exactly, which is which is good to get them in, in play for free. You might also just punch this tackler. No, he's not going to. Might just like the sidestep on it too. Just yeah. it's not a tackler, right? It's like, yeah. okay. Yeah, oh, he's not a tackler. Yeah, he's not a tackler. Um, a good understanding of how they've changed the meta. I mean, I have a good understanding after reading the rules, James Baldwin. But uh, yeah, people have people have played it a lot on Fumble, so they've probably got some ideas. But it's it's just it's just different because like I, I don't think the shed like the black box schedule has been around that long, and there's obviously been changes to like Amazons and uh, Underworld and stuff as it's gone on. So, and we've also seen that Blood Bowl 2's meta is not the same as Fumble's meta, despite there being a significant amount of games played, and both. Theoretically, having a similar format, the meta doesn't necessarily. There isn't, to this point, any evidence of like there being a singular meta. Besides, like there are a couple of good skill combinations in Blood Bowl. Mm. Claw Palm being good and Blodge being good and Blodge Guard being good isn't what I would call like oh that's the new meta. It's like maybe <laughs> just some skill combinations. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, and certain teams being more popular and better, like, yeah. like Underworld, right? Have gone from shit to not shit <laughs> just yeah. bangs it in doesn't risk the stall which again is fair like it is totally fair to go really cautious in the stall here i, I actually quite like mm -hmm. that because you know the chaos are going to be unlikely to score back on you um super yeah. quickly especially with the and you still have three loaders for the los so you're yeah. going to be healthy for your defense yeah 11 11 man 11 man uh, wood elf team is amazing isn't it on defense yeah so three turns there's a chance right edge four bludger so there's a chance they can get it and keep it and that, but it... Chaos maybe wishing they didn't have those two spares, because those two spares might have been a wizard. Mm. Or might have been, there's no wizard, right? Those spares are just kind of done really nothing. Yeah. It's not a game where they would have been likely to do much. Um, I can see having one, because you safety of... I don't want to be down players versus elves, but... Yeah. It's always unfortunate when you have spare players and it's just a waste of team value for you. Yeah. Yeah, the redraft's interesting, isn't it? I don't think there's one on Fumble yet. Um, but the idea of the Fumble one is to like force a redraft every 14 games or so. I don't know if it's actually active or not. I don't know at all. So there you go. Completely ignorant on that fact. But I know that the plan that might be enacted or might not be, the plan was definitely to have like redraft after after like every 14 games or whatever. Um, so then obviously so what you do is for, to prepare for a major you would play up until you had to redraft and then not redraft <laughs> yeah, yeah there you go every every 15th oh, yeah, yeah. but i mean there's no there's no redraft in blood Bowl three for sure i yeah i'm not sure how i feel about that because i frank i mean it's not it's uh it's pretty obvious the redraft system is not designed with open leagues or matchmaking leagues in mind in any way, shape, or form. Exactly, yeah. But all of the rules are designed for those to be built into the system. So it's... Wow. Mm. I think that's a bold statement, Squirrel. Mm. 
I think I think that's giving Games Workshop too much credit. Oh wow, I don't think they really care about any of that shit. Mm. Like I, honestly, I really don't. I really, Emily saying the rules are bounced around this. Do you, do you really think the rules are bounced around? I around I would anything? not say balance. I would say that there were some assumptions built in to certain design decisions, though. Like, I, I think only in the sense of, like, we're removing attrition from Claw Palm, we need to have attrition in some other form. I think yeah. that much was thought about. I don't, I wouldn't say it was, this is a new a new and more balanced version of attrition. It was just a new way to put attrition back into the system. Wow, lovely KO. Mm -hmm. Get just maximizing two DPs, very nice. Yeah. You can do that, it's not like the Chaos are gonna outrun you. Except for, you know, that one beast man that's getting into scoring range for free. <laughs> That is a load bar, yeah. The the aging. That was the that was the best thing that a Galax Star Scraper ever did was getting rid of aging because yeah, aging was almost killed Living Rule of Thor for me. Honestly, I really did hate the aging in Living Rule of Thor. It was so bad. It was just literally such a bad rule. Oh my god. That was the level you randomly get like a stat bust or something or you yes whatever yeah yeah. Yeah, it was really dumb. Like, it was so dumb, and it's completely random. And at least, like, the the redrafting, yeah, like, there's an element of team management. But I can understand people not liking that, especially more casual people, so I can understand a lot of people not liking the redrafting at all. Yeah. But it was on a level up, yeah, on a level up, so... Like, I had a vampire... Yeah. Like, the most stupid thing is, like, with Undead as well, right? But especially, like, I had a vampire, and his first game, he levels up and ages, and it's like... That's idiotic, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, you got a skill under bust, yeah. Yeah. So dumb. I really despise that. Also there were no there were no negative like there was there was no there was no negative thing for taking stats. So like if you mm. have a six SPP guy, he's just a six SPP guy. So so strength ups and that were even more powerful. And uh. then and then it's so it's super frustrating when you get like plus strength and then minus strength and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I nearly had a great player, but I don't. I can get that. No, oh, yes, there's an easy just a two plus through there. Yep. And three dicing him, lovely three dicing with mighty blow tackle. Well, Can't you can like argue that. that this is too much, and he could have just gone for the two D, and then had three more players to like, you know. Pick cover. up the ball afterwards and cover and stuff, yeah. Following also maybe not quite correct <laughs> there. But... but this is really great if, it, if this happens. This is definitely yeah. the best thing. Let me go and base the warrior. I might, yeah, do the dodge. Perfect. Um, I, no, I, I don't think he, like will have anything to do with Games Workshop ever again. In I just mentioned him because like I've you know, slacked off the BBRC plenty of times before. But uh, I do at least appreciate that he got rid of aging. <laughs> <laughs> and I despise his obsession with a bank crew. Oh my god. He may well be a nice guy. I don't care about him being a nice guy. Most people are nice people when you get to know them, aren't they? But I tend to judge them on their, the things they've done. <laughs> and if what they've done is obsess about the, the one rule that Jervis Johnson vetoed like 20 years ago. No, it's not that long ago. But 10 years ago he vetoed a rule and they haven't stopped thinking or talking about it and trying to get it back into the main rules. Just let it go. Just let it go, you know. Your rule that you came up with was shit. And Jervis Johnson, who designed and thought of the game, has like you know been at Game Workshop for years and years and years, well decades, has made loads of video, not no, loads of video, loads of board games, loads of rule sets. He thought that your rule was shit. Pro chances are, Galak, your rule was shit. <laughs> you know, just let it go. <laughs> but anyway, he didn't. He just made it his quest to get it in the rule. I kind of yeah, I don't like that, but. He did get rid of aging. So there you go. Yep, congratulations, Mordred. Well done. Uh, lo loved the Dakar. And obviously got a bit of luck to not take any damage at all. Um, but, you know, that's kind of, you kind of need that sometimes, don't you? And he, he did only have the one tackler. Um, commiserations to Andre. Thank you very much, Skrull Dude. Glorious having you in the booth. Yep. Yep. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic. <laughs>